Well, Matt, a hard-fought 1-0 win here at Vale Park. Just get your overall feelings and emotions after that win. Really pleased, proud of the team. Um, I thought tonight what we did is we found a way to win the game. And it was always going to be a difficult fixture, but the team tonight were so physically um, dominant in the way that they picked up the balls, in their running, their effort, their desire. Asked them for that. and to a man each one of them gave me that so it gives you a platform it gives you something to to work towards then improving in terms of on the ball but I thought every player tonight who got onto the pitch really made a, a big contribution I know they go down to 10 men and, and you probably expect us to come out and um, and to really take the game to them I thought we could have used the ball better in those situations but first half we were so dominant in the game and I went in at half time probably slightly disappointed that we were only 1-0 up having said that Saturday was a clean sheet tonight's a clean sheet it's a massive massive positive for the football club yeah, and I'll, I'll go back to the Kings Lynn game in the FA Cup. We used the word professional. That was a, another very professional performance. Yeah, what the players did is they they did the ugly side of the game really well, and they 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 completed our non-negotiables as a as a football club tonight. And I'll accept and I'll go with and I've always said it to you that they will make mistakes on the ball. But what they did tonight was they trod on the opposition physically. And I think when you've got that in a group of men, that when they take the football pitch, you've got a chance of winning the game. Physically, I just thought we were extremely, extremely strong tonight. And yes, we could have moved it better. And yes, we probably should have scored more than one goal. But one goal was enough tonight because I thought the back four were exceptional. And your side showed from the get-go just exactly what they were going to produce tonight. It was tenacious, there was hunger, there was desire from the first whistle and that is what your team is all about. They feed off the energy that the fans give them, who I thought were exceptional tonight and the performance, I asked them for a quick start, I asked them to make sure that, that they won their individual battles first and then can we win the battles as a team and I thought we did tonight. We. I thought our structure off the ball limited the opposition, which is which is always a pleasing thing, but probably didn't counter well enough tonight. Having said that, really pleased that Brendan's got his goal. Unfortunately, he's got a really bad laceration on his foot, so I've had to take him off the pitch. If, if that wasn't the case, I'm sure he would have stayed on. But you look now and I look at the squad and we're getting players back fit and competition for places is only going to drive the group on. And again, your side showed that even when Port Vale went down to 10 men, it wasn't about you know, trying to stretch the game ourselves, it was about remaining compact and, and seeing that game out and, and getting the three points. It was, it was trying to force the opposition tonight to, to jump out of their slots, to risk the ball, and providing we're in the right starting positions, then we win the ball back. But we didn't use it as well as I would have liked. However, there's not anything that I can be disappointed tonight because I thought in terms of a complete performance away from home, we produced one tonight. And that's four wins, I think, consecutively away from home now. Three clean sheets, three one nils in there. That must be a really pleasing thing for you as a manager. I've said it before, Tom, that when you keep zeros, you've really got a chance of winning the game. And I think that that's paramount for us because of the attacking players that we have. We can be devastating at times. Probably haven't been as ruthless as I would have liked um, this season, but we're growing, right? We're, we're a group that are still relatively new. Um, it's a really positive um, dressing room in there, which you would expect. And when the players report on Thursday, we've got to make sure that we're professional in our approach to another away game against Carlisle on Saturday. And I saw you down here in the technical area, really geeing that away support up. Just over 1,500 here tonight, which, albeit an hour drive, it's unbelievable yet again. Yeah, it's great that they've come to support us. I think it shows you that they're probably trusting what I say when I say that they're on this journey with us. The reason I'm trying to get the fans to to shout and to sing is because the players feed off their energy and it helps us to get them over the line in terms of the result tonight. But I thought, again, excellent. So pleased to see so many of, of our fans coming to support us away from home. And, you know, Saturday is another long trip. I'm sure that there'll be fans that were here tonight that will make that journey. That's loyalty for you. So, you know, we've, we've paid them back with a positive result tonight and it helps that it is a local derby.